So you have got your app, now your email from your app, and once you have your app opened, I'm just gonna run through exactly what you have to do now on your day one in your app so that you can structure everything in and kick this off right at, from the start and you understand everything within the app you need to use and what you don't need to use because there's stuff on the app that you don't need to get into just yet and we will go through that in time. So guys, we're gonna start very simply here. If you have got your app downloaded, it's, if you haven't got in your email, check your junk mail. If you're watching this now and you haven't got your email, check your junk mail. If you haven't got it in your junk mail or your email, please private message me personally or your coach if you've already been introduced to your coach during your intro session. Uh, email us or send us a private message now and so that you can continue this video on. If you haven't got your app, email, you need to send us a message so that we can get it downloaded to you, sent to you and get you organized within this app. So you have got your email, click on the link now, go under that link and it'll give you a pass, it'll ask you for a password. Create your own password for that, it's one time password. You don't have to change that again. That'll download and sync your app now, so that should be happening as we're speaking. Uh, then it'll ask you for your personal details. Input your personal details into the app, your name, male, female, age, all height, all that there. Put on all your personal details, everything you can put in, put it in. Don't worry if you don't know your height exactly, doesn't matter, put it on a rough uh, estimate of your height, what you think you are. Uh, then you're gonna go on now to your app. So I'm just gonna screen record this and we, I will show you exactly what you have to do. Start your app now will be on your home screen. So it'll come up Focus Gym or it'll come up My PT Hub. Same thing. So click on that app. You will see this. Click on the app. It'll come up like this. So that's where your app will come up. It'll come up Featured Settings. So you want to go into your settings now uh, and set your units of measurement. So just follow me through this. So you want to go into your matrix. Update matrix. This will show, see if, you're, if this is in kilos and not pounds. We want to change this to pounds. We want to measure you every week in pounds because we do everything in pounds. It's, these are simpler, weight and circumference, everything. This is all your weight. So we want to go and make sure that you are set up in pounds. So if you're not, I'm just going to show you here. Now, if you are set up in pounds, just fast forward this a minute and I'm just going to show you, you know, settings, go down to featured settings, which is here with the wee bell, type on that, go to units of measurement, units of measurement, and your weight, your weights now is your kilograms, that's your weights in the gym, your body weight, which is a second one, click on the body weight, and if it was in kilos, just change it to pounds, so you want that in pounds, uh, the next one should be in centimeters, the height should be in meters, distance and kilometers, which is okay. So if it's all set up again, kg, pounds, centimeters, meters and uh, kilometers. And then save, remember to save it, hit the save button and it should come up, units updated successfully. You want to go back out of that now, go down to your wee, the dots in the bottom right, press the dots in the bottom right and it should bring you back to this main screen. You want to press on hub, okay? This units of measurements will come up. Update matrix, so press on update matrix. And now you've got all your matrix set up. This is, uh, I've got the measurements on here from the last check-in, the 18th of September. So we want to just go through this now and update your matrix. There is a full video on how to do a check-in uh, in the library. You will get that on this email also. So how do you check in your measurements? But I'm gonna talk you through it. Your pounds, that's okay, simple. You can go and if it's, you're going back a day or whatever and you've done your measurements yesterday and you wanna reset them and you can change the dates here, which is simple. You can reset the dates or whatever you have to do. So we're gonna just do it from today. Uh, your body weight, you just type on there, you can change it. So say you went to down to 203 pounds, simple, 205.3 say. Uh, neck so your neck it'll say neck left neck right full on everything in the left and nothing on the right unless you have two necks so 
if you've got one neck, just do neck left. The neck right stays blank. Chest, obviously you're just doing a chest measurement in mid chest, okay? There will be, a, again, there will be a diagram that you'll see uh, at the end of this video, uh, or at the end of these measurements, where to measure these at. So obviously you've got two arms, so arm left, arm right, that's on your bicep. Waist left means your belly button. Waist right means your ass, actual waistband, where your trousers, your, you would wear a belt in your waist. Okay, hips is your hips, the biggest part of your hips. Thigh is your thigh, left leg, thigh, right leg. Calf, left, right, left leg, calf, right leg. So just to abbreviate that again, everything that is just got a left measurement, obviously, is the legs of your hips. And if you can just see there very clearly, there's no right in the neck, chest, or the hips, everything else is filled in. Uh, then you've got all the measurements from every week previous to this. So that's how you do your measurements and input it under the app. What you want to do now is just go right down to here and hit save. If you don't save this, this will not save and I will not see this. So you may have to press the button twice. Press save and it'll bring up these wee loading bars. That's that saved. Okay, if you haven't pressed saved, I won't see this on your uh, hub. So we are going to go through now. Uh, that is your matrix and your measurements and your weight updated. So we're going to go back out of that now. Switch your weight updated. The next thing is you want to add a progress photograph. So you go to your hub again, press hub, add progress photographs. To upload a photograph, simply go to front. You take a photograph. So I'm just going to take a photograph here now. Just stand there. This is court recording here now. Can I just stand there, Curtis? So upload a photograph. And I'm just going to upload this, use photograph, that's the front, and we'll just do a side one, take a photograph, side, which is simple. Now, Curtis is sitting here at a wall, blank canvas wall, and there's no door frames, there's no, there's nothing there, uh, so we can just, we can, uh, back now Curtis, back, yeah. So use photograph. So as you can see from that, that's the three photographs uploaded. And all we have to do now is hit save. Do not do this in a kitchen or up against a flurry wall or with bad lighting. Uh, you want to do it with as much natural light as possible or a well lit up room. So that's saving them at the minute. Guys, it's so important to do this. Uh, you're it's so important to do your progress photographs. You have to upload your progress photographs. So that's them saved, okay? The photographs are saved front, back, and rear. Please just don't do a front photograph, a selfie and a mirror. Do not, please do not do that because you will want to look back in three to six months time and see your very first photographs. And again, this is total confidential with client and confidentiality agreement. These photographs are for you and your coach, that's it. So we're going to go back now and we are going to the bottom right dots again, uh, back to the hub and we are going to fill in our form. So your check-in form, so you want, you, want, you want to go to forms now, you will get these check-in forms every week. You can see there very clearly there's a check-in form comes through to Curtis every week. So we'll go to the last one there which is the 20... 20 what do we see? Just any check-in form at all. We'll go to this one here. So you'll be sent them daily. Uh, obviously, they'll come up with... Uh, this is your very first check-in form. How was your nutrition this week? So say it was a 5 out of 10. Say, how was your training this week? Say it was a 9 out of 10. How was your mood this week? Say it was a 7 out of 10. I want you to fill these. Go through this and fill these all out. Uh, so obviously, your energy level is 7 out of 10. Your hunger levels this week, uh, with uh, say your hunger levels. If you're hungry, it's low. You want to go from low to high. So if you aren't hungry, it's a ten. If you are hungry, it's a one. If you're not too bad, it's a six. If you need help with it, go low. Uh, how was your sleep quality this week? Uh, say it was a seven. How was your stress this week? So stress again, low. If uh, go one. If you're really stressed. 
go 10 if you're okay. Uh, so you're rating everything out of 1 to 10. 1 being like everything's not that good, 10 being everything's really good. Uh, how consistent and hearing how you've been to your daily step, step goal, say a 9 out of 10. So one big one in regards to your nutrition last week. So in regards to nutrition last week, planned all meals Monday to Thursday and was great had birthday party Friday but stayed but stayed to my macros so just fill that in so that gives us a bit of uh, So it gives us a bit of an idea how your week went. So obviously uh, it's Saturday check-ins or Monday check-ins. So you just put that on to give us a bit of an idea how that week went and you still stayed within your macros okay. What do you think What do you think needs to change or be improved upon in order for you to keep getting progress? I just need to keep to the basics uh, also maybe you need to up your water so I need to up water so you put that on simple enough provide a question for live tomorrow so this is the live Q&A's the Sunday plan your week seminars provide a question so a question that I would ask obviously I'm, tr uh, I'm a client that wants to uh, lose body fat uh, you know, maintain muscle mass and just lose body fat. So, uh, what I would ask there is something simple like, uh, is there any supplements I need to take to maintain my muscle mass? Is there any I need to take to maintain muscle? Excuse the spell, I'm trying to do this fast. So, uh, is there any supplements I need to take? So, we would come back with an answer like that. Something simple like, you know, uh, in order to do supplements, uh, it's just protein, keep your protein high. So, we would take a look at your protein again, your protein goals, and if you're still dropping and your photographs, you, your muscle bellies are staying full. So, the likes of creatine, you would take creatine, something like that to keep a muscle belly full of glycogen to maintain muscle mass and feel and look stronger so that's simple we would answer that in the q and a's so please provide a question the more information we get about your progress the more we can help you okay so in order to get the best out of this program we need as much information as possible so overload us with questions overload us with information and you will get better results so you want to save that now so that's it saved that's that sent to us. We can now pick that up uh, on your check-ins and uh, you want to save everything. So that's you back to your hub. So that's more or less what we need from you every single week uh, in order to do your check-ins. Uh, guys, if you need any help after that, if you're not sure after you've done that and went through this training <coughs> and you still need help, do not be afraid to ask. Post it in the group. Take a screenshot of your uh, phone post what is going wrong within your check-in in the Facebook group and like you're better to, to put it in the group is to send it to an individual coach because then there's four or five coaches on there and the clients are on there too that might be fit to answer your questions. That's us guys and I'll see you in the next video.